If you ever found yourself watching The Muppets, Kermit, Miss Piggy, Animal, Beaker, and wondering, I wonder what the most grotesque, sadistic version of this would look like. Well, I found it. It's right here. Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. It has two directors. I'm going to read the names off so I get them right. We have uh, Sonny Luguna and Tommy Wilkland. And it was uh, written, the screenplay was done by S. Craig Zahar. Zahar. Z-A-H-L-E-R. Uh, which he has some pretty good credit. Bone Tomahawk. And he did uh, Brawl of Cell Block 99. Uh, and it stars uh, Thomas Lennon, which you'll probably recognize. And, of course, uh, Barbara Crampton. She's in it. This is the 13th movie in the franchise, but it actually doesn't advance the story, it reboots it. Uh, Andre Toulon uh, is now a Nazi. If you remember in the previous versions of the Puppet Masters, he was against the Third Reich. In this movie, we follow Edgar. He's played by uh, Thomas Lennon. He's recently divorced. Now he's back at his childhood home. His parents, especially his dad, doesn't want him to be there. So he's just trying to, you know, buy some time to get an apartment. And he's in his deceased brother's room, and he finds this puppet, right? And he's thinking, huh, you know, maybe I can make a quick buck, buck with this thing. So he does some research online. He finds that, hey, lo and behold, there's this 30th anniversary of the Andre Toulon murders, and that people are coming in um, to take a tour, and also some of these puppets are being auctioned off. So Edgar says, huh, let me grab my uh, just recently... Uh, met girlfriend and my co-worker and we'll go to this convention. The movie starts with a flashback uh, that you go back to 1989 and that's where uh, Barbara Compton's character, she's a police officer, she was involved with uh, this uh, gun gunfight, I guess for lack of a better word, with uh, Toulon and then it, it kind of brings us to her again where she is giving a tour. So everyone shows up at this convention and she's given the tour of the house, and that's where you really get the backstory of his connection um, to Nazi Germany and how he fled to the U.S. Um, then the mayhem begins. Everyone makes their way back to the hotel where the convention is going to be held. So it's the night before the convention. These puppets start disappearing, and they think they're being stolen because of their value, and the police are brought in. Then they realize all too soon that these puppets mysteriously reanimated and now with their little knives, hooks, and flame flowers are causing quite a disturbance. As for the story itself, um, I think it, it, it's pretty well written as far as, you know, the type of movie we're talking about. You know, you, you can tell uh, Lennon's really trying with Edgar. You know, he's got the loss of his brother, um, the divorce. You kind of feel that in a somewhat serious but comical way. Uh, so it does kind of get a bit slow, but then when it starts, it really, this film is about just flat out gore fest. I mean, it is, um, shots linger with blood, throat slit. Um, you wonder, well, how gory can it be? I'm going to tell you one kill. So this is your spoil alert. If you do not want to hear this, pause it or fast forward about 15, 20 seconds. So spoil alert is going to start right now. So describe what you're getting into if you watch this movie. There's a guy going to the bathroom. He's taking a pee. His throat gets slit. Then his head gets ripped off. His head falls into the toilet. And you have a shot looking down at him peeing on his own face. End scene. There's a fellow gorehounds around. You'll probably like this one. It is over the top. You know, just far-fetched kills. Um, I will say, you could really um, take a deeper look at this. I mean, it is about Nazi puppets, and you can read some of these were probably hate crimes, not probably, they probably are hate crimes because you have a Jewish character, a gay character. So that may turn people off. Um, so just be fair warned. I kind of looked at it as a maybe a 10,000 foot level, just this over the top satire, just, you know, gore fest that, you know, certain horror movie people are going to enjoy. Just to reiterate, I mean, this movie does kind of walk the fine line between offensive and over-the-top kind of campy. 
So again, just keep that mind going in. Um, I can see where some are just going to tear this apart and f find it very inappropriate. And yeah, I mean, you could see that, but it's uh, again, how you view it, how you take it. So again, thanks for stopping by. That's my take on uh, Puppet Master, the Littlest Reich. If you'd like to see some more videos, I'll throw a link up here to one or two more. Um, love to check them out. Also, subscribers, uh, hit that subscribe button while my <laughs> Windows updates, apparently. Um, hit the subscribe button, the like button, that'd be great. Uh, we'd like to just have more people join the Color Positive Movie community. And until next time.